Welcome back. Many of your favorite Asian American actors, directors, and writers for TV and film have probably started their careers at the LA based theater group called East West Players. I recently attended their 48th annual Visionary Awards Gala and got up close on the red carpet with some of the celebrities and award winners that attended this exciting event that supports the theater's ongoing mission of providing exceptional live theater productions and educational programs for aspiring Asian American actors and writers. Tonight, I'm on the red carpet of the 48th Annual Visionary Awards Gala, where East West Players celebrates the achievements of individuals that have raised the visibility of Asian Pacific Americans in television, film, and theater. Founded in 1965, East West Players is one of the nation's first Asian American theater organizations in Los Angeles, established to increase opportunities for Asian and Pacific Islander artists on stage and in other media. Today, East West Players continues to produce various artistic works and educational programs that give voice to the Asian Pacific American experience. Well, first of all, you look even more lovely in person. Oh, thank you. Well, I woke up like this. <laughs> now, <laughs> when I first came out here um, to, to L.A. from New York, uh, there were uh, so many people that I got to meet um, through East West Players, um, just, you know, fellow actors and, and directors and, and some producers. And I think that is, you know, the, the whole process of, of trying to get work in, in this town is just to have the connections and the support. Mm. I'm here with Paul Kikuchi who is a successful screenwriter and the honoree and recipient of the Made in America Award. Congratulations Thank for that. Thank you very much. Yes, it's, it is an honor. East West Players are got obviously the premier, one of the premier uh, theaters in the nation. So uh, it's, uh, again, it's an incredible honor to receive this award. I guess growing up I always heard and read about the East West Players existing and I grew up in Texas so uh, didn't really know any other Asians that were interested in acting you know or even knew any other many other Asians so when I heard there was a theater company that was established and working and, and building careers and helping art you know Asian artists really find a voice. Joining me here is the award-winning television series executive producer Ken Solars and he's also the recipient of the Visionary Award tonight. Congratulations. Well thank you I'm thrilled to be here. Would you tell us a little bit about your involvement with East West Players? Well, you know, our show is set in Hawaii, which is a, a very ethnic state. Uh, we cast a lot of Asian American actors. Uh, a lot of them have come through East West Players, Daniel Day Kim being one of them. Sure. And, uh, you know, the, the talent pool is very, very deep there. So we're, we're very happy to reach down in there and, and <laughs> grab what they got. Tell me about your experience uh, of being involved in East West Players. When did you first get involved and how did you get involved? Oh, God. Um, this was years ago. Uh, I started taking classes. They, they, you know, they offer classes, acting classes, voice classes. And I, I started taking classes. Um, and then for a long time, I was involved in their children's theater um, program. And we would go out to elementary schools and do a show for the kids. Um, and then I was on stage with them. And then actually, right now, I'm currently teaching class. So I have like a long history with the theater. We, as Asian American actors and other ethnic actors, have a greater responsibility to ensure that we don't perpetuate the stereotypes, you know, and give some honesty to what we do. Very well said, yeah. Well, before you were focused more on acting and maybe even producing? No, you know, right now I'm busy. I, I, I got elected to be president of the first president of SAG after Los Angeles Local, and I guess it's the first Asian American that's ever been elected to a union position that high. I think now we kind of demand that um, our characters be well formed, three dimensional, move the story forward. It's no longer okay just to have an Asian in the show just to fill the quota. Now it's, you know, have him or her move the story forward and, and, and be a real part of the show. So before it was like, you know, it, it was just great to get on. Now it is, there's a demand for us to be human beings. Part of, we're part of society, part of, part of the American culture. So um, I think that that's the, biggest, that's the biggest thing now that we need to move forward. 